Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Jesse Time with your host, Bambi. Oh my. <laughs> How long has it been? Oh Three whole months. Oh my gosh. I gotta get back into my routine here. I apologize to all my subscribers and oh my gosh, subscribers, 414 y'all still climbing even though I've been away. Oh my gosh. Uh, lots going on, you know, we had moved again to a larger house, we got clients coming in and out of the door, we got classes going on, and you know, just stuff, crazy, crazy, bless you, crazy stuff, and the dogs are still up to their shenanigans. Um, can you believe I have a tutorial for you guys today? Oh my god, a tutorial, an actual nail tutorial, wow. Nothing weird, nothing odd. It's a nail tutorial. All right. You miss me? I miss you guys. Totally have. Uh, uh. uh today's tutorial is going to be a easy, simple, I don't know if you want to call it a beginner's or not. I just kind of figured it out on my own how to make it look good. Um, it's a easy drag marble butterfly. You can do a whole butterfly in this or you can do a half butterfly. Um, I have it, I don't know if you guys can see the light here. I might have to angle down. But, yeah, whole plum plum there. Um, Easy peasy. I'll show you. I'll tell you guys the colors and brushes and things that I'm going to use, and we're going to do this together. So yeah, let's pause, adjust the camera, and we'll go down here and do a holy my goodness nail art tutorial. What are you waiting for? Go. All right. Hey, bunny hands. Okay. So uh, for this, uh, so you guys can probably see this. A little better down here. I know my light has changed dramatically. Um, I also have not so prepared. Here's a couple here. We're gonna do one similar to the the monarch that I have here, but we're gonna be doing it in a bright pink. So either on your own nail, I'm going to be using a swatch nail because I'm just gonna add it to my little art things here. I have black gel paint, or you can use um, whatever kind of gel you have. You can also do this with polish. I would suggest not using a quick dry polish because it might dry before you get to drag. So I have, and I'm gonna have these open and ready to go. So I have my black gel polish, or not gel polish, <laughs> black gel paint. And we're going to be using this beautiful neon pink and these ones here they're just a generic gel paint um, and I'm also going to be using Nail Innovations Shiny Shades and this is where I've learned all my learnings from and it's an absolutely beautiful company to learn from. Um, I'm using this white it is called Icing Sugar and it's one of their shiny shades it's a similar it's a thinner gel. This is a white, it's got just a little bit of an iridescent shimmer in there. And we don't have to leave that open because we're just gonna be swapping through the two uh, main colors. I'm just gonna have them kind of off camera here. And the two brushes I'm going to use, because uh, I find it easier to have two brushes, you can switch back and forth really quick. I'm using these two fine art brushes. Uh, they are Ribla. I don't know the brand. Can't read that. Ribla. R O U L O T T. Uh, these are <laughs> they're Kalinskis, and I have a double and a single O brush in them. So we're going to do one side of the wing. We're going to do kind of like a butterfly from the side. Uh, I don't really know how else to explain that. Um, so to do so with these, we're going to, I'm going to just 
kind of show you guys here. So when you got your nail, like so, we're gonna start with two dots of the black. And then I'm gonna go around with the pink. And then we're gonna kind of build in a number three, black, pink, black, pink, or whatever color you decide to use. And kind of go from there. And I've got my little brush lean to here. So, all right, we're gonna, hopefully you guys can see me. I hope camera is good and I'm going to, you have to work kind of quickly with it because the gel does tend to run. And you wanna go, not overload, but enough that you can drag your brush through as well. So I've got my two dots here. You guys can see that. And then I'm just going to switch back and forth from my pink to my black. And I so wish I could get my camera closer. Does take a little bit of patience. It also depends on the thickness of the gel that you're using. So I have surrounded those dots with the pink. black brush Oh, kind of looks like two little pink eyes right now. And then, so after you go your black, pink, black, now I'm just going to kind of continue on the outer side of the wing to build that up. I'm gonna leave the inner part where I'm gonna place the body black. Now, so doing this piece here, I've kind of gone in a three motion. I did not connect on the inner side of where the butterfly's body is going to be. And for the top wing here, so we're gonna leave the bottom, we're gonna leave the bottom these four layers and then the top I'm going to build up just the top two more layers so that the top wing comes out larger than the bottom half of the wing. So you kind of get that butterfly dimension. Like so, I don't know if you guys can see. And it is kind of running into itself because I'm showing you guys I would do this a lot faster if it was just me not explaining. So it's almost like you're doing water marble, but you're physically drawing 
your own rings, pretty much. So that's what we have on there. Doesn't look very good right now, does it? Yeah. I'm going to take a lint-free pad and I'm going to clean this brush with some cleanser. Clean both my brushes. And I'm gonna take my single O brush here. That's my single O, the larger, or you can use the smaller, it doesn't matter, whatever your preference is. And I'm going to go into the body of the wing and drag to my center point, like so. I'll show you my smile tile here. So you're just going to pull from the outside to that center point. And if you want to either wipe your brush in between Like so, I hope you guys can see this. And then that creates your drag marble effect. Kind of gives you that butterfly wing drag. And so I'm going to cure that in my light for a minute and a half and I will pause and be right back. All right. So that is now cured. I'm trying to not get a glare off the light so you guys can see the, the drag that we have going on there. All right, so now with the black again, we're going to just sort of uh, nicely outline the wings. And I'm going to go a little thicker of a line on the outside here. Just like so. Flash cure that so it stays in place. Like 10 seconds. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, something. So I don't know what it is past ocho. I try. Oh, I try. All right, so flash cured that. So now with the icing sugar white, I'm going to take a small dotting tool with the white here and I'm going to randomly and very gently so that I get small 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 dots on that thick black border that we just flash cured Jeebers out of My neighbor just got so, so like so Shh, you guys are gonna wake up the baby and I'm not gonna be a happy mommy 
And you can also do a few within the wing as well, if you prefer. I find if you have a very steady hand and you can get smaller dots, enough! Crazy dog, but you guys didn't miss them. Like so. Within the wing. And we're gonna cure that for. Ooh, we'll go 30 seconds. What can we do in 30 seconds? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Bam, bam, bam. 30 seconds. That's my 30 seconds song. Doesn't quite last 30 seconds though. Hmm, we do need a larger dotting tool, just slightly larger, not too much larger. Probably something like so. Yeah. All right, I think that was 30 seconds. Well, we'll say it was. So with the black to finish off our little flutter by here, I'm gonna do a disconnected pod body. Like so. And then I'm gonna take just a touch more with my brush. And I'm going to if I add more gel in my brush. Come on, brush, cooperate. And I'm going to put a little disconnected feelers like so, and I'm not happy with that at all. Oh, the wonders of gel. Wahaha. When it's wet, it's so easy to fix. Let's try again, shall we? much better. So just like so, I've just done two little kind of hook shapes there. Gosh, I wish my camera was better. And I'm going to cure that for a full minute and a half and I will be right back. All right. Say hi. Of course the barking doggies woke up the baby. It happens. At least I got one video done today. All right, so, um. I did not record the step. <laughs> um, I applied the uh, Nail Innovations Tips and Toes Gel Polish uh, No Wipe Top Coat to seal everything in. And that is what we've resulted in. Just a quick, easy, simple drag marble gel butterfly that's it that's all easy peasy um if you guys know another way an easier way that i am unaware of because i don't really get a whole lot of time to go on youtube anymore obviously um then comment down below i'm going to definitely try and uh, get back on some routine here and uh do some more videos for you guys because <sighs> the stuff you learn when you actually go and go to a class hey eh? yeah uh, Any who's, click, comment, like, subscribe, and share with the universe. Keep coming back into family. You know we love you. Can you wait? Follow me on Instagram, bc underscore jazzy underscore time. And if you'd like to follow my Facebook fan page, facebook.com slash get my jazzy time on. Or you can also follow my business page. You can, what is it? at Nails by Bailey Clark, all lowercase, all one word, or you can search 
Beautiful Nails by Design. Spelled like so. On Facebook. And hit me up there. I'm posting more on my business page uh, versus my fan page. Just because, yeah. So, yeah. Anywho, we're going to go get a snack for Mr. Teething Molars here. <laughs> Hope you all stay tuned and stay jazzy. Can you smile? Can you smile for that? Smile. Oh, look. There we go.